Many students and teachers have opinions on what decisions and precautions are taking place at the high school level. So face-to-face, -face, as it's being talked about, is, you know, we have group A, and then maybe kids could come back group B if both they and their parents agree and maybe apply for it. Uh, if, the vote, if the vote at the board meeting allows for that to happen. And so it would be four days a week with still remaining the Wednesday for students to get caught up with all their studies. And so um, I think that that is a good approach because it allows for parents and students to choose uh, what learning model really works better for them. I talked to a few teachers to see their thoughts and opinions on the board meeting and decisions that might be made. I'm coming back full time, that's like what I want obviously, um, but I don't necessarily feel safe and I don't feel like our students are safe um, if we're coming back full time with everybody in the school 100% of the time because there's no way to distance six feet or even three feet with everybody in the building at once. I would love it. I would love it. Um, it's very, very difficult to teach math online. It's very difficult to learn math online. <laughs> And um, so it's, it's really a challenge to make everybody be engaged um, when they're not in the classroom. So when I'm working with the ones in the classroom, they're great. The ones online, they're just off in space. So it's very difficult. Um, so I would love to have everybody back. Seaman High School is the fourth largest high school in the state. Some of our classrooms are a bit smaller. So what we'll do is we'll identify classrooms that have a large enrollment. It won't be every period of the day. But those that, where they do have a large enrollment, we'll look at other alternative classrooms to go to. Or we might even have to have some students remote in, even though they're in, in the building, just to keep those numbers more manageable so we can practice social distancing. I think that my biggest class would be like 26 students, uh, maybe 27. And um, there's no way that I could distance everybody even three feet apart. Um, with the amount of room that I have, and then also keeping myself safe as well. So, um, no, I don't think even my larger room would accommodate that many students. Well, we're trying to spread out. <laughs> I know that's a challenge, and some of my classes are kind of big. Um, but, we, you know, I would like to keep us apart from each other. Wearing masks and, and not being in each other's space, I think, is just kind of the vital thing. Encouraging everyone to use more hand sanitizer or hand washing would be really great, too. Lunch is also a big tackle about coming back full-time face-to-face. So it looks like we may have to, I know this would be tough for students, the lunch desks might have to go back in the classrooms and we'll be back to our lunch tables. And I believe if we have a, a large number of students uh, in the building that we'll probably have to have some students eat in the cafeteria and some students eat uh, in their classrooms. That's the only way I can figure out how to make the numbers work and maybe just flip every other day. So maybe students A through K would be in the cafeteria one day and L through Z would be, you know, in their classrooms and then flip that on, you know, on a rotating basis. I think you know, that makes the most sense and seems to be a reasonable solution. Opinions and views may be different about things happening, but we can all agree that safety is the first priority. I do think it's easy if you're kind of removed from the situation and you're not in the schools um, to think that it, you know, wouldn't be difficult to come back full time, 100% capacity. Uh, but if you're in the schools, I think it's pretty evident that, you know, especially with kids moving around all the time, and there's there's no like, way to keep everybody in one room at all times. Um, I think that, you know, it's easy to say, let's come back to school. We haven't had a high number of cases. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it just takes one COVID positive person to spread it to eight different classes of people when they're in that class with, you know, 20 other students. I, I know that this has been a struggle for the kids, um, but it's very much a struggle for the teachers as well. And so it would be really great for those who are really suffering, and there's a lot of them suffering, um, for them to be able to come back and, and join back in more of a full-time status because I think that they need it. It's just sometimes there's too many distractions at home. And I'm just really thrilled that we are where we are right now, where we've been experiencing some sense of normalcy with our teaching and learning. Um, we started two weeks late and it feels like we're kind of getting in the groove right now with kind of the scope and sequence. I'm really pleased with what I'm seeing going on in the classrooms. 